Hello everybody, before we get into the topic of this video, I do want to thank you guys, uh, our community, the JBPM community, uh, for using the stuff that we're doing, for uh, helping us and contributing as well. Um, I just wanted to show you, if you go to startojpm.org slash reports, um, this is our reporting page for that shows information about uh, generations of JBPM business apps. And as you can see, we had, in a very short amount of time, a large number of uh, generations, and, and we really want to thank you guys for that. Um, we, everything that we do, we do for our community, our users, and uh, you guys are the reason why we can keep doing what we're doing. And of course, you know, as usual, we're looking for contributions, looking for you know, people to help out, to to learn from, and also we can also uh, help you guys get started with developing with JPM and, and, and JPM business apps and things like that. But to get to the topic of <clears throat> this video, this video is kind of specific to uh, if you're using uh, Visual Studio Code, the IDE, and uh, there there is this thing called the marketplace where you can download a bunch of different extensions for this IDE and we just wanted to showcase and it's also here under recently added the JPM business application <coughs> extension uh, that now you can use within Visual Studio Code and this is an extension that allows you to similar to start.jpm.org uh, generate your business application uh, straight out of your IDE. So if you come here, uh, you can see there's some detailed instructions on what you're going to go through and how the extension works. Also, there is some um, known issues. The biggest one is if you don't have uh, access to NPM install with the current user that you're running your IDE with, um, you, there is a small step that you have to run in order to generate this application. Um, however, if you do have that, it should, it should be straightforward. Uh, if you find, if you use this extension and find any issues um, or any problems or have any questions, uh, you can do it here under rating and review, Q&A, and also you can see here under resources our GitHub repository for this extension where you can um, you know go ahead and get the source code and also you know if, you, if you're good with um, <clears throat> um, the stuff and you or you would like to get into uh, writing extensions for for uh, VS code you know you're more than welcome to 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 get the source to use it yourself and also if you have any uh, updates to contribute them back and make this extension better. But to get back to it, uh, you can also uh, get it from the ID itself. So you can either click install here, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, step through by using the ID itself. So <clears throat> I'm going to create a directory here where I want to create my JPM business application. So I'm gonna, my business app, and I'm going to CD to it. Now to start VS Code, I'm just going to say code and then space, and this should launch uh, my IDE for me. Let's make this a little bigger. Now, under so I am here in my workspace is my business app, and this is a directory where the extension should be generating my JPM business application. Uh, if I click here under extensions uh, I can either install it through the marketplace as you saw but also in the ID you can just type in JPM and you get this <coughs> should get this here as well um, you get the same readme and the same instructions as you get on the marketplace uh, and some general information about com uh, contributions and, and a change log which currently is just the initial version which we pushed out actually today so I'm going to click install and um, all right so once I've done that I can go back to my explorer view and if I open up my control panel um, now I should have a command called 
Oh, I have to actually restart code. Okay, so let's restart it. All right, so if I open up my control panel, I should have my generate JPM business application uh, command here. Once I click on that, you have two options, either similar to starterjpm.org. One is to generate the default business app with all the default settings, just like on starterjpm.org, or you can configure your business application. So let's go ahead and configure our business app. So we first pick our three application types. One is the business automation, decision management, and business optimization. Since we want to use uh, both processes and rules uh, for our business application, we click the business automation app type. The next question is, we have to choose the name. So I'm just going to call it my app. All right. And now we have to choose a default package, call my app. Sounds pretty good. Now here you're presented next with uh, key versions. Um, as we new versions are coming out, we will update this extension to include the new versions given uh, what their uh, version ID is. So for now, let's just do 717 snapshot. And now we have to pick a, a last thing is application components. Um, the first one is if we just want to use regular processes, but if we would like to use case management capabilities of JPM as well, we will click the dynamic assets. So for now, we're just going to do business assets, simple processes and stuff like that, um, that our business application should be executing for us. So once you do that, <clears throat> you will get first uh, my zip, and you can see uh, this is the my app zip file, uh, just like the zip file that you get from starterjpm.org. However, the extension will also unzip this file for you into your working directory. So out of the box, you have your KJAR, your model, and your service um, uh, modules. And if you go through, you can see you have all the code there. Um, as you wish. So you don't have to unzip this yourself, but you still have your zip file that you can then copy to a different location or share or whatever you want to do with it and unzip it to a different location. Now just to show you how easy it is to start your business application also out of the ID, so you never we never left our Visual Studio code, uh, we can go uh, to terminal and go to my app service and here we want to change the uh, permissions for our LARN script. And then we just want to do launch, just sh, clean, install. And out of our IDE, uh, now we are all building and also starting our JPM business application. So let's take a look at that. Just wait for it to build and then it should also start it. So right now it's starting our JPM business app. <clears throat> wait for another second for that to uh, start. All right, so it says started application. And now we can go to our browser and go to localhost 8090. And here is our MyApp um, JPM business application that we have built uh, that has all the capabilities, business automation, decision management, and also business optimization. Um, so, yes, if you guys <coughs> would please try this extension out if you're using VS Code. Uh, if you run into any issues, uh, please, you know, let us know. Um, and um, if you find any issues and know how to fix them, you know, a pull request on GitHub would be great. Uh, if not, that's fine as well. Just let us know uh, if you run into any troubles. Again, thanks for, you know, the, to the community. Thanks for using the JPM and JPM business applications. And, um, you know, have a great day.